first pet was um, a black cat called Jack. He didn't let me touch him. Uh, he was really mean and he pooed in the shower. Uh, an astronaut. Yeah, I was just obsessed with space. And that seemed like a very achievable thing for me at the time. <sighs> okay, this is really embarrassing because um, he is kind of like a prominent figure in the industry now, but it was um, Props Boy from What Now? <laughs> My first tattoo is on my ribs, and it is um, the first verse of a poem that my dad wrote for my mum after their first date to a Santana concert. It says, Once upon a lovely night, several nights ago, I touched the hand of a Santana fan and fell for its bright, bright glow. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. It's adorable. <laughs> I was on the the Gisborne Intermediate Cultural Trip, which was a trip that our Kapahaka team uh, took down to Wellington to perform there. And we were at Te Papa and I was watching a production about penguins and I just remember feeling like my stomach was falling out my ass. <laughs> and then I sat up and there was, and I was wearing a, like, I, it's just cliche, but I was wearing a white, like, pencil skirt. And I had bled through my skirt and onto the chair and my friend next to me gave me their jumper to put around my um, waist and I just like ran out. My other first celebrity crush was Elijah Wood, specifically as Frodo Baggins. <laughs> Love a short king. So you know on pieces of driftwood, <laughs> on pieces of driftwood how there's like borer lines on them and termite lines? I thought that those squiggles were messages from aliens. I think it was my idea. I think it was around the time that I was really obsessed with space and I really wanted to be an astronaut and I kind of just must have been watching some kind of alien movies where maybe, maybe, it, maybe it'd come from like the like crop circles or something. I was like, haha, alien messages <laughs> in the driftwood. <laughs> Bingo, bingo, bongo, I've worked it out. <laughs> I was pretty useless at all sports, apart from surf lifesaving. I was a really big time clubby. Yep, Winery Surf Lifesaving Club. Did you ever hang out with or meet Mokul? Oh my God, yes. I have, I have a Mokul story. <laughs> Muku had been in Gisborne for like a year and he hadn't come around to um, our side of the beach, to Wainui Beach yet. On the morning that I, we heard that he might be coming around to Wainui Beach, before school, I went down to the beach and walked out into the water and he was there and I was like up to my waist and he came towards me, no shit, he came towards me and he was massive and I was like standing there in shock and I put my hands down like this and he put his nose in my hands and I held on to him and he took me for a ride like along the beach. <laughs> it sounds made up, but I swear to God it happened. He took me for a ride along the beach and then he started getting like going out a bit deeper and so I just like let go and I was in my, fully in my clothes and then I just got out of the water and walked back and it was like the best moment of my entire life. <laughs>